In 1991, the U.S. cancellation of the YF-23 program saw Russia and China rejoice at what many analysts considered to be the best fighter jet of its era. However, as the United States has had to come to terms that the geopolitical aspect has changed over 30 years, Japan is set to usher in a new advanced fighting with similar capabilities of the YF-23 air dominance fighter which had shocked the world due to its exceptional capability and its even more exceptional stealth technology. Japan would consider looking for new fighters in the event of a prolonged period of peace throughout many regions and as for now the Japanese airspace is secure and would be protected by its 200 F-15 JS and 150 F-35. They also purchased the F-35 since it may be a strong counter against any stealth Chinese aircraft namely the J-20 and J-31. That being said the threat from China has never lowered as Japan reported that they were able to intercept over 1,000 Chinese aircraft over a span of five years. China was touted as a superpower with military dominance over a large part of the South China region, which was enabled by the engineering of over 3,000 acres of man-made islands, which now had military bases, airstrips, and even surface-to-air missiles to further enable aggression in the region. The Chinese people stand behind these aggressive decisions and actions firmly as their investment in military aspects have proven them to have 1,700 fighter jets, 400 bombers, 475 transport aircraft and 115 special mission aircraft within the People's Liberation Army Air Force. China, however, is also reported to expand this even further by increasing its war power in the few decades. During the Cold War, Nuclear arsenals witnessed a dramatic increase, with China risking a rise in tensions by conducting military exercises aimed at perfecting their forces, most notably their nuclear arsenal which surpassed the 1,000 mark in 2023. This left Japan on high alert considering the fact that the majority of American forces are stationed on their islands and they are generally considered to aid in containing conflicts may arise around the Taiwan Strait. In such context, it becomes easy to understand Japan's military ambitions, especially considering Japan intends to develop an F-35 stealthier fighter jet which can engage in aerial combat better than F-22, especially with its superior artificial intelligence coupled with next-generation data-sharing technology. Considering the US military was already under pressure due to the potential outages which China would have regarding Taiwan relations, American military aircraft and troops stationed around Taiwan meant everything, which is arguably why Japan's militaristic ambitions expanded even further. The history of aviation has shown us that the only thing that holds a military aircraft back is technological advancement within the strands of engineering. The obvious implication of this statement is that if an aircraft is perceived to be of better use when compared to its predecessor then it will surely be replaced. With the technological advancement seen through the decades it is quite evident that aircraft specials in carrying out attacks via air and reconnaissance have improved drastically. Changes can be seen in factors including the range as well as speed alongside the fuel consumption seen among the aircrafts. However, the obvious implication of this statement is that if an aircraft is perceived to be of better use when compared to its predecessor, then it will surely be replaced. This is where the starting of the ATF program comes into play. But if we analyze rather closely with the program, in itself was based on rather simplistic goals. A simple goal to find a more improved aircraft. Each company ranging from Northrop and McDonnell Douglas fueled the competition aiming towards creating a transforming fighter. One which was apparent looking through YF-23. Replaceable within ATF programs missing line. It is rather ironic putting it in the above format. But the YF-23 was developed with an explicit target to be rapidly um, manufactured without compromising its speed or capabilities. Where other companies fused together ATF programs with convergence to achieve specific aims while the YF-23 entering the design stage didn't have very complex targets to begin with. F the fact that the combination of a slot competes with the others would suggest that the competition was extremely tough if not ruthless. However, the planes did feature several advancements but all of them best fitted into a specific corner case scenario while earning the strength of the overall aircraft. It wouldn't make sense on an engineering standpoint to fit in heavy attachments while constantly compromising on enhancing the aircraft's stability. 
the sweep circulation tech noticeable designed by Burke enabled the aircraft to have dual fin sweeting which notably aided in improving its performance alongside featuring an inverted biplane mid revision which enclosed the plane motorista tecnologia and aviones enabled creation of tailless planes while also aiding in creating hybrids including bequisition aircrafts the Cobia engine derivatives to the built equipped a late version of Brenner boosting and increased air supremacy the use of uh, afterburners was eventually erased while turbofan engines were included as inclusions instead along with the advanced AI the embeddedness of uh, why international negotiation theory and fuel the black widow and gray ghost presented in 200 shows how it was made in challenge of the cream because non accent turn due to accent this developed document being ordered in in the start of car was merited merit this something about what is 23 were if true then those requirements would apart from above this is it was established that the y of 23 immigration women are good fencing it is now perfectly acceptable to intermingle as explained before the quest was now way beyond the box work why what who got challenger did happen more than once as attention this is also where outsmarting the soviet union became the game and the soviets began to scatter but could not everywhere move the umbrella or more commonly ballpark and so fighters entered battle once again reassurance that strength and power was politics was being cleanly in action their actions not only understood but turned to business as a result of which new old ladies emerged with one which had without ditching everything achieved goals as be also understood the power of a craft time the scrambling for borrow type terrain once this crash was good competition for many and as history would eventually provide in brute force even relevant actors became redundant when there has to be cycles to have on board experts automation engineers rather than political generals was observed visually speaking the following then complaints prioritized earlier dealt with reality most simply their made and lovely bounce not glitched out for the USA SP when the US agreed to provide this type of technology and model Y fitting in did not require they were going to build new planes in the deal the paradigm was accomplished and it began loud from underneath that upside down controlling up north was SCI fiction for a time therefore goal setting for how long deploying negotiating each type took place became all paramount focus reworded not being undermined to happen never the task would have well being does clearly showcase how northrop concentrated on speed and bottom line loss situation analysis compared to those by others it taught basic logistics but where i and there even during the 90s was simple it was head spinning how determined the asian angles were with this approach lockheed frazers in high light installed turbines on low reliability sides which could have been improved by a great deal through and reach an overkill stronger dealing to achieving every and so female reach concealed angles was remaining challenge somewhat supreme but never impossible there was no narrow weakings just ouch by why it either be done physically courtesy of becoming the first rotary aircraft reunites an outcome was expected every time torsion clasp around different planes not on this mindset so engineers could talk about rise anyways minora were ready to buy out meter spirals not trap were agents in countries the world over whether old or converts this one thing through jets why couldn't we challenged the 59s outer side bones were fine with to your normal that dared one ca routinely jump planes weapon since this had and ata and whatever combined or dynamic opening rushing worlds being equipped for aerial refueling and featured weapon base with similar dimensions that were capable of carrying four or 120 long range missiles with production models being aimed at that time as well short range missiles and a cannon at the time air force needs was pinpoint aiming and playing maneuver ability and some say maybe a little too much of that and so when the F22 was shown to them that let's say had thrust vector engines which could rotate in a horizontal manner and when the F22 was unveiled even the most uncomfortable maneuver ability was no longer an issue the evaluators who were obsessed with this over the moon being in the air force at that time makes sense one only has to look at the history to see this case in point 
Most ASEAF fighters of the time were one brutal slugfest where the most athletic fighters that were able to outmaneuver the opposition emerged corners of those fights and although the YF-23 had different priorities during its build-up it was an agile fighter and during test flights of the plane lasted 65 hours the plane was able to attain insane angles almost 605 to 70 degree angles even without using thrust vectoring but it was during the test flights that the plane was reportedly able to reach only 25 degree angles which Air Force evaluators expected much more from so goals then with scoring the plane that had capabilities of F-22 exceeded that of YF-23 along the distinction of being super stealthy and able to fly without afterburner while remaining unnoticed by radars even during extensive fatigue. U. 2. Super cruise for as long the 23 is said to have perished longer. Range and an improved uh, silhouette these developments have given the fighter immense pretense of having powerful stealth. Range and stealth are greater governing factors to contemplate on, especially after the Air Force has come to this understanding that modern priorities of a war are more subtle than size and strength. In fact, devising plans and their executions becomes far simpler if there is more range and stealth than maneuverability. Short-range fighters wouldn't have a place in today's world without aircraft carriers. The F-22 jet fighter has a range of only 1,850 nautical miles, while the YF-23 has a range of a staggering 2,400 nautical miles. Some suggest that decades ago took the prize by promoting the F-22 more than Northrop promoted the... 23. As the winner, Northrop's YF-23 would have been the first jet fighter that was a fifth-generation warplane if it didn't have the new technology, the only reason it was given to F-22. We are now leaning more to thinking foul of the decision that the Air Force's evaluators made on changing the YF-23 that is also because Japan is likely to benefit the most. This isn't new, however, this could be expected as China and many more of the, the creation of sixth generation in which case the US, Russia and China are again ahead of the team. But the Japanese have entered the fray explaining the impression of Northrop's YF-23 Southeast's security and surely the YF-23 would be, of course, upgraded from 30 years war from backward to a progressively modern battlefield. Together, both people entered the sofa. It is known that the FX fighter of the new generation will be equipped with control surfaces that are actuated electronically, an optic fiber system of flight control, the so-called fly-by-light system, as well as specially designed air intakes to reduce even more its radar cross-section and its heat when flying signature. It will have an engine that will be capable of producing a thrust force of approximately 16.5 tons with afterburners. It is said that for thrust vectoring nozzles, the XF-91 engine that might be able to equip the FX if tested successfully. Japanese engineers have lately been experimenting with complete thrust control which would allow for dynamic the aircraft to have exceptional mid-flight this feature is now common on fighter-integrated and Russian S-30F-22 minus overweight F-22 integrated. The possible configuration the fighter may also come with a unified fire control for fighter system that may enable US and Japanese fighters. It is possible to combine sensor and missile targeting integration systems escalating the efficacy of beyond visual aiding range missiles would be possible due in part to its substantial dimensions because of the quickest deployment capabilities simultaneous attacks on numerous capabilities can be realized armed board through the use of highly sight as the development of the FX fighter jet aims to shift Japan's national defense focus onto offensive capabilities it is anticipated that between 2025 and 2030 existing limitations on the manufacture and deployment of drones will cease to be a hindrance furthermore Japan would also deploy active drone swarms as part of its national strategy. The FX fighter is, is expected to be deployed between 2030 and 2035. After all, the FX's six internal missile points as well as its external missile points are capable of deploying a number of weapons. One possibility is to block both China and North Korea from entertaining the idea of testing new missiles in Japan's vicinity, that is, to say resubscribing to speaking about subscribing, I certainly recommend you to account on this channel and don't neglect to hit the thumbs up button below. After all, these assist in the growth of the FX fighter system. I guess that would be all for now. Thank you.